Hey guys, Forex here. Hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is the Sega Master System I repaired in a previous video. As you can see, it's still working perfectly fine. Now the reason I've got this out on my bench today is because there's a mod I want to do to it. And that mod is a 5060Hz switchless mod. So yeah, if you stick around, we'll crack on with that. It's time to get inside this master system. Now I've already showed you how to get inside a master system in my previous video. So I'm not going to film that, I'm just going over old ground. So yeah, I'm just going to get in this thing and we can start the 5060 Earth switchless mod. As you can see, I have the master system board out. What's that? <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, the first thing I need to do is remove the old LED. So I'm going to flip the board over and I'm just going to desolder it. That's the old LED desoldered. What I need to do now is cut a couple of traces. So what I'll do is I'll cut those traces and then show you where they are. I've gone ahead and cut those traces. I'll show you where they are. The first one on the board is here. This allows us to get our reset from the um, switch, reset switch. And the last one here on a power region is here. Um, and that controls 50, 60 hertz. If you're in the US, your link will probably be between this and this connection here. So you will need to cut here. But in the power region, it's here because it's tied high. Uh, on the power region on the NTSC it's tied low so yeah they're the two traces you need to cut this one here and this one here okay what I want to do now is program the pick chip for my switchless mod board now the first thing I have to do is select the actual pick chip and it is a 16F630 and there it is microchip MPU pick 16F630 I'm going to select that now I've already put it in my EEPROM burner so I'm just going to go ID and there you go it's fine it, um, if I would have pressed ID and it would have been uh, different to the 16F630 it would have told me would have thrown up a, a flag um, so what I need to do now is open the hex file I want to program and it's here and the file I want is master system RGB LED final hex that's the file I want I want Intel hex I want all code I'm gonna click OK now I'm just gonna check the fuses just to make sure they're all okay now my EEPROM burner um, automatically sets the fuses uh, it reads them inside the X file and sets the fuses. Your EEPROM burner may not do that. You may have to set them manually. But there is a, a readme inside the archive that uh, has the fuses and how to configure them. Um, what I'll do also is I'll leave a link um, in the description below to this file. So if you want to perform this switch this mod, you can. So I'm all ready to program. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the program button and let this thing program and there we go program successful now it's already done one verify but I'm going to do another one just to cover my backside so I'm going to press this button which is verify and just verify again and it has so yeah that's my switchless code or programmed into the picture
So okay, I've got all the components I need to put together the 50, 60 hertz switchless board. Um, it's my pick chip, I've already programmed it, you've seen that. Um, now I'm going to put this board together a little bit different. I'm going to use pin headers um, on the board. I normally solder the wires directly to, to the board, but I picked myself up a, a crimping set uh, and I've got to thank Jan Beter for showing this off in um, his um, video and I'll just show you here's the crimping set so yeah I'm gonna be crimping these wires um, it just makes things look a little bit more neater so yeah I'm just gonna spend five minutes putting this board together and when I've done I'll come back and show you what it looks like that's my switchless 50 60 Hertz board made up time to get this inside the master system I've decided to put my 50 60 Hertz switchless board just here it's a nice spot for it so what I'm going to do now is wire this in there and then once I've done I'll talk you through what wire goes where and what function it does I've come to the final part of the switchless mod and that's installing the LED um, but before I put it in there I want to talk to you about what type of LED I'm using I'm using a common cathode LED um, that basically means that the center leg is common and the two outer legs this one's obviously green and this one's red are positive now the reason I'm telling you that is because I'm about to install it um, into this place where the old LED went but I'm going to have this um, housing around the legs just to stop them touching each other so I need to tell you where to put the common cathode leg the common and it goes on this far right pad here so yeah what I'll do now is I'll get this LED in and then once I've done that I'll talk you through the function of the switchless mod and the wires where they go and what they're for as you can see I'm all wired in what I'm going to do now is talk you through those wires um, if we take a look at the first set of wires here black and red if we follow these along these are our power wires uh, if we look at JP2 the very far left wire the black wire is ground and the very far right wire is plus five so that's our power and ground to power our switchless 50 60 Hertz mod uh, if we move to the connector to the right of it we follow the red and green wires they go into our LED obviously they control our red and green multicolor LED now if we look at the wires at the top they are gray purple and white now I'll do the white wire first so if we follow the white wire we come along this is our new reset out this is where the uh, 50 60 Hertz which this mod controls the reset um, because obviously we, we don't want the system to reset when we press the reset button anymore we want this con to control the reset now and that's what controls the reset if we follow the purple wire we come along and we go down it goes to the center pin of JP2 this controls the 50 60 Hertz so if this pin is high we get 50 Hertz uh, if this pin is low we get 60 Hertz again if we follow it along these wires here we look at the gray wire now we go along and this is our new uh, resetting so when we press the reset button instead of the resets button resetting the system this now controls uh, the function of the pit chip so yeah there you go guys we're wired in time to give a system a test so let's power on and um, we've started up in green so that should be 50 Hertz and that does look like 50 Hertz because we've got a little bit of a border so what I'll do now is hold the reset button and cycle through until we get to red and let go 
and as you can see it flashes and we go to red and yeah we're in 60 hertz now I can tell because obviously we've still got a little bit of a border you get that with a master system but it's opened up a lot more and I'm getting shimmering on my camera because obviously I'm filming in 50 hertz on my camera and my, my TV is refreshing at 60 hertz and we're getting a, a, a clash there and that's why we're getting the shimmering but yeah that looks like uh, it's worked so what I'm going to do is go back to 50 hertz and yeah there you go guys that looks okay we've successfully installed uh, a 50 60 hertz switch this mod into a master system and as you can see we're all bolted back together let's power on so we can give it a final test and as you can see we're in green so this is 50 hertz yep that looks like 50 hertz now what I forgot to do before was test the reset so I just want to press the reset really quick and see if the system resets yep it resets so that's working fine so okay we're in 50 hertz at the moment what I'll do is I'll stop while well, the game's already started so thank you very much for doing that <laughs> Uh, what I'll do is I'll hold the reset button and we'll get to red, red, green, red. Now it looks a bit strange because there's a, a green filter, um, but you can see it's red. So we should be in 60 hertz now. So if I start the game again, and we can see we've got a little bit of borders, but my camera's shimmering, so that tells me that we're in 60 hertz. Now I'm going to switch back to 50 hertz we'll go back to green and we'll let go and we've gone back to 50 hertz so yeah there you go guys hope you like the video please give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe all the usual stuff and as always i'll catch you on the next one sweet i think i might have lost this race though <laughs>